I think one of the key things about Harrow is its focus um, beyond its walls. So it has a very outward focus in the congregation and is very uh, always looking for opportunities to be involved in the neighborhood and in the world. Uh, we've been involved in in uh, conversations and initiatives and events seeking to find pathways towards reconciliation and healing between settlers and Indigenous folks. What we were kind of hoping for with this garden, and again with the signage and everything, was to spark that interest in people walking by, right, as they see this go, oh, what does this mean? Why is this here? Right, um, hoping that they're going to ask why these plants are here, what they do, what their purpose was. Um, and just, to, you know, and by that way, you know, you spread awareness, you spread knowledge, and hopefully the individuals that come by to take a look at the garden and ask about the garden, then take that knowledge and spread it to their friends and their family and go, oh, I was by Harrow United Church and I saw this lovely garden and I learned about what sweetgrass is used for. And I learned why we have sage and I learned the sacredness of tobacco. Um, so activities like, you know, planting these, this garden on, on church grounds, right, to me is a way of the church continuing that apology, um, continuing that reconciliation, and continuing to try and find ways to rebuild those relationships that we should have. And so we also have a history of gardening here at Harrow. Um, lots of beautiful gardens. Um, and uh, at the moment, Susan is our main gardener, but over the years, there have been lots of different right. people who have taken on that role. And a few years ago, she wanted some garden beds to grow some vegetables. And uh, so those are over on the other part of the property. Um, those are provided to food banks and to community ministries. And, and uh, so they're, they're grown to go outside the community. And then more recently, she's been wanting to expand the garden beds. And we've had the opportunity this year to finally do that. And with Logan and Karen's help, we have now been able to put in um, some of the native prairie species, as well as uh, some of the medicinal plants and healing medicines. Um, we have an opportunity not only to extend the gardens and to beautify the property, but primarily to, uh, to extend opportunities for relationship and conversations. And so